Okay, guys, I just want to diagnose this Range Rover Supercharged 2008 model, the PCM, the and small misfiring. And uh, I just want to read a trap call to know. Wow, an engine that is not fourth coat, but I have, I have misfiring in the car. I have misfiring in this car, but it's not showing me any of the coil at times. You, this car's misfire, but you see, you can just listen to the sound. There's a misfire in there. At times, it might be the coil. At times, it might be the coil that is causing the misfiring. And uh, let me switch off the car. And <clears throat> so I have to jump start the car. So here we go. You know, when you're in front of the engine, here we have bank one in this side, and we have bank two in this other side here. Bank two is where you can, you know, put on, put in your oil. Bank one is from here, from the airflow meter on Range Rover Supercharge. 2008 from 2005 to 2008 or 2006 to 2008 2009 Range Rover Supercharged 4.2 engine. Yeah, we have Bank One here and uh, the firing order of the cylinder. We start from here. We have one here. We have two here. We have our number three here. And we have our number four here. Then we have our number five here. And then we have number six here. We have number seven here. And then we have number eight there. So. Um, so the firing under and the numbers. Of your in case anytime you diagnose Range Rover 4.2 or 4.4 any uh, you have your number one here you have your number two here at the other side and you have your number three in the bank one and you have your number four at the bank two you have your number five at the bank one you have your number six at the bank two you have your number seven at the bank one and then you have your number eight at the bank two so guys if this is your first time seeing my video please subscribe to my youtube channel this is miami to mobile technical services and uh, though i'm going to do a troubleshoot on the coil i'm going to find out the coil that is causing the misfiring on this car scanning the car did not give me the issue couldn't find well, I know Range Rover is so stubborn in doing like that at times when you scan, it might not even show, except if the coil short socket. But this one, in case of this, is not short socket. So, but I'm gonna run a full diagnostic on this car. No, though, though I've run a scanning on it, but I'm gonna do a troubleshoot on this car. You know, how I'm gonna do my troubleshoot is I'm gonna take off my, take off the cover and then losing the coil, then take the coil off one by one then show you how it's gonna look like so guys please subscribe to my youtube channel just just don't watch my youtube but subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video and thanks for watching